Welcome. In this video, I'm going to be taking a look at this CamiSafe 62 inch selfie tripod. And this was provided to me by the distributor, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing this before I post it. If you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description of this. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So this comes with a phone mount. So this is spring loaded to hold your phone. It comes with a Bluetooth remote. So you pair this with your phone and you can use this to take pictures. So you could have this set up with your camera and pointing at you and you could press this button and it'll take a picture. So there's a little thank you card here. A 30 day money back guarantee. 12 month warranty for quality related issues. It says universal phone clip. It can be adjusted from 2.2 inches to 3.5 inches. It says note, you'd better remove your phone case and then use the clip to your phone. All-in-one selfie stick phone tripod, compatible with most cell phones and digital cameras. Five sections, telescoping stick, extendable length from 17.5 inches to 62.5 inches. Tripod mode, ideal for video recording or FaceTime with your friends or family. Selfie stick mode, allow you to take selfie photo group photos. It has a wireless Bluetooth remote control. It says note, does not support Google phone yet. Compatible with iOS system. System to take pictures or record video can also apply for Android 4.1 or above but only support to take pictures not record videos it says for some Android phones not use it properly please download camera 360 app and then adjust the volume button to take pictures so for pairing it says switch on the remote and the blue light will flash turn on your phone's Bluetooth and search for AB shutter 3 for connection the light goes off when Bluetooth is paired and successful okay here is the tripod selfie stick so I'm going to look at the features up close and then I'll get it on the ground later and we'll check it out. So this opens kind of like a music stand here. You tighten that down. One thing I don't like about my traditional tripod, especially if I'm moving around a lot, is that it takes a while to set it up and tear it down because you have each leg has a clip on it, two or three clips, and you have to extend each leg. This would be a lot faster because you could just extend this part down, lock it in place, and then you extend a single center until you're at the height you want. So with a regular tripod, each leg is like this. So these will all extend out. So the center tube is aluminum and these legs are steel. These feet are a rubber material, so they'd be grippy. So for selfie stick mode, you hold it like this and then it has plastic here. Let's see if that moves in and out. That's pretty secure there. So these don't rotate. You can see there's a little bit of play there, but these don't rotate in here. So these levers here will all be the same direction. They're not gonna rotate on you. And then this is the head. So this is straight up and down, and then it has detents at different levels. You can lock that in place with this here. And then you can take this, I think this plastic pulls off of here. That looks like it does to reveal the rubber below. There we go. Yeah, that's grippier. And then you can put this on here and you can tighten this down like so. I like that this is large. It makes it easier to turn. Some things are tiny and uh, this is much easier, I think. So now your phone can go on there. I'm using my phone right now, so otherwise I'd throw it in here, but I'll show that later. So this can rotate here. So I just wanted to show this in detail on my bench and now I'm going to set it up so you can see the whole thing. Okay, so I have two tripods here. I have the selfie stick tripod and I have my old tripod that I've had for over 20 years. And I'm just going to quickly set both of these up to see how long it takes me. Okay, so it took around 16 seconds to set up the selfie stick tripod, and it took around 32 seconds to set up the traditional tripod. So it was about half the time. So I don't want to infer that the selfie stick tripod is better or superior to the traditional tripod. My point is that it's faster to set up. There are pros and cons to each of these. And now I'll look at some of the differences between the two. So I'm going to lower these so I can have a little easier access to them. So I measured the selfie stick tripod and it was right at 63 inches. So there's a little bit of variation in how you adjust this base here. So it can be up or down just a little bit more than that 63 inches. So if we look at the mount here, this has a large knob on it. The traditional tripod, and a lot of them have this, have a little plate you connect to. And it has this little thumb wheel you tighten it down with. 
So that is a lot easier on this one here. Now this is set up so you can pop it out and take your camera off. The whole point of this is that you can keep the camera on there and then you can use this as a holder for your camera to aim it and carry it around, do selfies or whatever. So they each serve their own purpose. And this one has pan and tilt mechanism on it. And this one you would just lift it up and pan and tilt it. So it's two different ways of doing it. Now there's a big difference here is in the feet. So you can see the traditional tripod is a lot more stable. So if you're taking pictures at a daycare with a bunch of kids running around, you would probably not want something like this. Now, if you were spending a day hiking, this one would be a lot easier to carry with you. So you could carry this, you could put the legs out, set it down on a flat part of the trail, and take a picture of your family, you know, overlooking a cliff or, you know, something like that. So I'm going to fold both of these up real quick and then I'll take a look at the size difference. Okay, so now I have the selfie stick tripod here on a bench next to the traditional one. So it's a little bit shorter if you leave the phone mount on it, which I imagine most people would, but it has a lot less bulk. You know, this you can grab with your hand. This thing's huge, this thing's heavy, this thing's a lot lighter. So there's a big difference there. And when you're setting this up, you don't have to extend it all the way, obviously. You can just do one section here. With a traditional tripod, you at a minimum have to loosen up three legs and extend three legs if you want to raise it up at all. Whereas this one, you can just do, you know, one clip for every level you want to go up. So if you want to go up a little bit or a little bit more, you can just do two of these clips and you're done, you have it set up. So I like to have multiple tripods. I think this one is more ideal for carrying around and the larger tripod is better for stationary work. So I'm going to take this outside I'll extend it all the way and I'll do a down facing selfie I'll just take a picture and I'll put that up on the screen now so I'm using my phone to record this video right now but I wanted to demonstrate the Bluetooth remote so what I'll do is I'll turn this on and I have my iPad here and I'll just pair it with that so this turned on automatically the battery was already set and it should show up here okay there's a B shutter 3 I'll tap that it's asking if I want to pair it, I'll hit pair. Now I'll get into my photo app. This is sitting on my bench so it's black, but I'll just press the button and you'll see it takes a picture. So when I took my selfies, I just used the timer mode on my camera, but this is a lot more convenient and you can put this on your key ring here. So that's the CamaSafe selfie stick with tripod. I think this will be a nice addition to my photography arsenal. I'll often carry a selfie stick with me so I can throw my phone in it and take shots from different perspectives. Every once in a while I'll take a selfie of me or the family, but most of the time I'm using it to take pictures of other stuff. With this I'll be able to set it up and pose with the whole family and we can use the remote to trigger it. I could also set this up to do a time lapse, but the thing I'll probably mostly use this for is to take pictures from different perspectives. Like when I go to the zoo I can go and take a picture of the animals above the fence that they have there. So I can raise this all the way up and hold my hand up and this will go really high. This goes a lot higher than my selfie sticks do. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate it if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.